Do you have stress? If you do, how would you like to get rid of your stress forever? Well, listen to the end of this video and I will show you a secret that will help you get rid of, well, let's say at least 85% of your stress. Not too bad. So let's examine stress for a minute. Where does stress come from? What is the origin of stress? And I have a statistic for you. People who are uh, of faith, people who have faith, and I'm not talking about a religious person necessarily because not every religious person has faith, but people who have faith in something, generally a higher force, have far less stress than others who don't. Now, why would that be? Because they take their uh, faith in themselves, which is faulty, because we are all faulty, and internally we know that, and they put it outside of themselves. Now, this is a tremendous spiritual secret, and there's tremendous power in it. Even more so, if you kind of know more about what you're doing. So what is really the origin of stress? And it comes down to a very simple and basic idea. It's fear of loss or fear of the future, which is the same, fear of loss, because I don't know what's going to be tomorrow. And when I don't know what's going to be tomorrow, if I'll be healthy tomorrow, if we'll have enough money tomorrow, if business is going to continue going well tomorrow, if uh, my job, if I have job security tomorrow, all these fears of loss create this uncertainty for us. And uncertainty creates stress. Uncertainty without an anchor creates stress. Now, what's the anchor? Anchor is faith. Anchor is understanding, is having a spiritual understanding that there is a higher power that's beyond me, that actually is pulling more of the strings than I am. You know, we are, for the most part, under a lot of illusions of life. And, you know, people generally who are like control, you know, I don't want to say control freaks, but people who are control freaks tend to have way more stress than people who aren't. People who are more easygoing and can let go have far less stress. Again, now why would that be? Now, I used to be a pilot, okay? And again, I've, I've mentioned this on previous videos, but um, there are people who are trying to control the movement of the plane. I'm talking about passengers, right? We used to call them white knucklers, someone who sits in the seat and is grabbing the arms of the chair so tightly that their knuckles turn white. Why? And I've heard people tell me, because I'm trying to control the movement of the airplane, <laughs> which is, you know, it sounds funny and it is kind of ridiculous, but the fear is so strong. It causes so much stress that I am not in control of whatever's going on with the airplane. And if it gets a little bumpy, I'm even more stressed. You know, has, was a time when I never used to like to be in the back seat of a car. Same idea, because I'm not driving. And I might tend to get even nervous when someone else is driving a little bit aggressively, even though I might be an aggressive driver occasionally. I don't mean to be, but and I try to tone it down. But if I'm not the one driving, then, you know, <laughs> please slow down, you're scaring me. So the point here is to be able to let go and understand if I'm doing the necessary work that I need to do, okay? Uh, so I'm not talking about, well, we're going to have enough and I'm going to sit on the couch and put my feet up on the counter, right, on the, on the table. No, of course, nothing's going to happen there. But if I'm doing the work that I need to be, if I'm putting the effort, you know, whatever every situation requires of us, a certain necessary effort. If I put it in and I am aware that I put it in, then I must learn to let go and like they say, let God, let allow your faith in higher power take over because you can't control it. 
okay? So many things are based on our destiny that, and you know, we knock ourselves out trying to change things and we may not be able to. Change is possible, but we must know how to do that, okay? But that's for another video. Here, we're trying to change the outcome by removing the stress factor. Stress is uncertainty. And unfortunately, most of us are not aware that the more we allow ourselves to go into this state of uncertainty and stress out, unfortunately, we create a blockage. And generally speaking, the thing that we're stressed about may, in fact, happen. I don't remember the exact wording of the, ex the expression or, or it was a quote, I believe. The thing that I have feared most has come upon me. So it, fear, you know, there are reasonable fears, uh, things that you should, you should be afraid to walk in a bad neighborhood. You should be afraid to leave your car unlocked in certain situations, okay? There's reasonable fears, but there are unreasonable fears that lead to our stressors in life. And stress is not only damaging spiritually and creates blockages for us in the good things that we want in our life, but it is also one of the major factors or causes of disease. And that's a fact, okay, uh, which I won't go into, but you can all research that. Stress as a cause of disease, at least 85% of diseases are, on the root level, stress-related. But really, stress is a spiritual issue. Remember, stress is happening in our mind. And that's the only thing we have control over, our thoughts, our mind. A negative thought comes in, we have the ability to push it out and replace it with a positive thought. So if you want to remove stress in your life forever, or at least 85%, then we must practice letting go and allowing the universe to drive. While we make the effort that's necessary, when we've made that effort and we've done what we need to do, and it doesn't matter what it is, then it's time for us to let go and whatever happens, and accept that whatever happens is the best that it possibly can be. Be blessed, everyone. Remember, give the video a thumbs up if you like it, and hit the subscribe button here if you're not already subscribed. And if you're interested in a 30-minute free consultation with me, go to rabbiabe.com, and I will see you over there. All the best.